Kettle's boiling. I ain't got time for a cup of tea, guys. Thinking it. What do you think my name is? Right, so uh, there's the uh, water timer. Uh, we're going to uh, put it on its side. I've took the uh, filter off. This it, it comes with a filter, so it's an inline filter uh, going uh, that direction. So I need to uh, put this onto there. So let's just give that a little uh, warm up. Pause and record. A few minutes later, just just helps to. Uh, Can't even do it with two hands. Mustn't put that together properly at the moment. Um, the end. Uh, looks like the uh, one of our previous dogs has uh, had a go at that. But to uh, clamp the end off, you just fold the pipe over. I think that's the end. Let's put it on first. Get it the right way. Fold it over. And then pop that uh, inside. That uh, holds it to uh, shut nicely. So I've popped the timer up. Now this is the second piece coming off that other T piece. Uh, coming down from the uh, the other top cross member. This is that there. I haven't got any more of those uh, ends. So I'm just going to pop a zip tie over it. So I may need to make that a little bit bigger, but that, that might uh, that might do it. I'll crack on with that. That's got the two ends done now the irrigation this is like a hose lock system um, you have to make a hole in the pipe and then screw that in uh, with uh, an adapter that I can't see it oh I can't see it because it's in my damn hand I've got a pokey bit there and then there's the uh, screwy on bit but uh, I'll uh, make some holes in that uh, I'm gonna have to mark those first so I've uh, done most of them. So basically all you do is uh, pop that in like that. Get the little adapter, pop that in there. That sits nicely in there and uh, screw it home. Not too tight. They do self seal but it's just knowing uh, exactly uh, how tight to uh, do it so I'll get that all fitted up so I've just tied that up and basically all it's going to do is sit like that and the water is going to come out these holes I'm not putting any pipe on it uh, it just seems to uh, sit nicely so I'm going to get it all put together and we'll turn it on and see if we get any leeks or onions or parsnips yeah, so it's uh, really useful uh, keeping all the bits and bobs. I've found a few bits I needed, then I had to uh, physically uh, take some of the ends off. But you can see that's been in the bag a long time. Uh, we had all this uh, give us uh, for our garden uh, a long time ago. And it's certainly come in useful for this job and maybe others around uh, the allotment. Right, let's have a look. Uh, the uh, long roots are all filled now. The timer's up there. Let's have a little closer look. So I turned this that way round. If I had to go that way round, it might undo the nut inside, then I'm going to get wet trying to uh, tighten it up. So it's been put on its side, it's on. I've just noticed that one drip, I haven't over tightened anything. We're running it um, horizontally, so the, uh, the filter's uh, in there. Look a pickle penny muck. Uh, I've just had to try and figure out how uh, all that this works again, but uh, I'll put the video uh, in the description at the end. 
to cover that. Bit awkward to film up here, but that's how we've got it. And uh, I've just got to see. Hanging on here for dear life. Um, so if we just turn this round to on. Now, how quick that's coming out, I'm only going to have it on for the least amount of time, uh, uh, maybe for a minute, but uh, for a, a lot longer hours. As you can see, there's a lot of water coming out there. I'll just turn that off. Yes, there's a lot of water there. So I'll just have to set it accordingly. So for an easy fix, I've turned the tap down a bit. And I think that'll be better. One minute of that every two or three hours, depending on the weather, depending on the weather, but and I don't want my 200 litres to disappear too quickly. But this will save me a lot of time messing about watering. So I'm well pleased with that. I've turned that down. And as long as we don't get no leaks and we lose the water. But I shall kick that off uh, now. Every uh, six hours just to wet that compost up. And we'll see uh, how we go. I'll be ready for planting. Or sowing should we say. A good sign that we're getting uh, a decent amount of water is if it starts uh, dripping out these ends uh, too much. We want it moist, we don't want it too wet. But if I uh, decide I want to uh, run it a bit longer to encourage those roots to get longer and longer, uh, I will do. It's all an experiment. And hopefully we can get those uh, roots up to the end of those four meter gutters and curled round in the uh, water as it uh, fills up over the season happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now